cause of advanced fibrosis in NASH is due to the development and the deposition of fat in the liver related to uh, the risk factors uh, for NASH, including obesity, diabetes, high cholesterol, sedentary lifestyle, and that fat accumulating in the liver causes the liver to be inflamed. It recruits cells to fight off the fat, if you want, if you want to say that. In the meantime, while it's a developing inflammation, it develops scar tissue. It's like leaving scar tissue behind, exactly like when we have an injury in our skin and we develop a scar tissue, sort of the same type of cells and, and depositions. And the problem is the more scar tissue is deposited in the liver, you develop what we call more and more fibrosis or advanced fibrosis, which can lead to cirrhosis. Besides the risk factors that I already mentioned for NASH and um, developing of fatty liver and advanced fibrosis, we have to consider um, genetic factors that can play a role in the development of NASH. In certain populations and ethnicities, we have identified that there's more common genetic predisposition to developing NASH, including the Latin population. Other populations um, that we're seeing right now because of uh, early obesity in children is that children are developing early diabetes or what we call the semi-metabolic syndrome in younger uh, children. That can predispose them for fatty liver, so actually it's been there's some statistics showing that up to 12% of at least Latin children can have fatty liver nowadays. In the United States, I would say, you know, there are different numbers, but let's say up to 40% fatty liver or um, fatty liver disease prevalence in the United States. And yes, it's leading here, but it's catching up in other countries as well, including Europe.